Caleb with Brownells. In today's quick tip, we're gonna talk about dressing light cords on your AR setup. So in previous videos, we've installed the light mount, the light, determine where to put that light. I also installed this light control system for the pressure pad. Now we're on to the final step, which is getting these cords dressed up and out of the way. So the way I like to do it is to just simply use zip ties. You can get these little black zip ties here. These actually came with the light, uh, but you can get these at any hardware store, your local Walmart, wherever. Uh, they're really cheap and they work really well. And if you mess up during the process and have to cut one off, it's no big deal because you buy them in packs of infinity. They're, I mean, there's just a ton of them. So let's get started. First thing we need to do before we start messing with any zip ties is to get this cord tucked and out of the way. So if you notice on the back of your actual light itself, where the cord comes out, there's a cut in one side. So what you're gonna wanna do is facing the right way now. But for example, if it's something like this here, you wanna, you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn it so that it's facing the inside. So when you tuck your cord, the cord falls right into the slot there, just like so. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you the whole process here, so. And when we get to the mount right here, we're gonna go ahead and tuck it all the way under the mount. We're just gonna tuck as much as we can forward to get it out of the way. All right, so we're pretty close to where we need to be. Um, now we can start planning out where we're gonna actually send these zip ties through. So the whole reason why we're dressing the cord, um, it may seem pretty obvious for most, and that's because the cord is pretty likely to get snagged and, and caught up on um, different obstacles uh, apart from your gear and your gear as well. So having that cord out the way is always the right answer. So the first part I like to start with is the cord that comes off of the actual pressure plate. So I'm gonna hook into that at the soonest possible place I can. And it looks like I'm gonna try to come through through these top vent holes here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, obviously if I just go in with my zip tie, I'm gonna have a hard time fishing it out. So I'm actually gonna take the end of it and just kind of put a bend in it and make it a U so that I can fish it through one hole and come out the other pretty easy here. And I'll try to show you how it's done as painlessly as possible. All right, now we wanna get it on there snug, but not too tight just yet. And the reason is because once we cut this, we're gonna to wanna to roll it so that the sharp edge that we just cut, ideally is gonna be inside the handguard or somewhere where our uh, support hand's not gonna bump into it. So I'm just gonna tighten it up just a little more here, leaving just enough slack to rotate it, but having it tight enough so that that cord's not gonna go anywhere. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And I'm gonna rotate it out of the way. So the hole in this one is almost too big to get it in there, but we can use a tool to kind of give it a little persuasion. There. 
Now, perfect. So the cord's retained and that sharp edge is now out of the way. So now we can move on to securing the other end, which if we secure where it comes off the light, uh, since we have that secured and the pressure pad secured, the rest of this stuff that's tucked in won't be able to come untucked, so we don't even have to worry about it. So let's kind of take a gander here and determine where we're going to wrap this. All right, around the M-lock slots, right up front, I'll try and point it out to you here. Right there, looks like it's gonna be our best option. So let's go ahead and get that zip tie fit through. Again, we're gonna kinda make a U in it so that we can feed it through and fish it out the other side. We're gonna get some light weird nightmare before Christmas roll thing going on here. All right. And you can see a little bit of it there. Let's see if we can grab it. All right, and then same exact process as before. We'll just tighten it down, uh, not over tightening it because we're gonna need to rotate that sharp edge again. All right, we'll go ahead and cut it and rotate. All right, so now that we have that tucked in, we're all set. There's nothing else we need to do. Like I said before, I like using zip ties. I know some guys out there hate them. Um, and quite frankly, I don't know what they're using. I think they're just tucking their cords. Uh, so it doesn't matter what those guys think anyway, because they probably are uh, buying their Chinese lights from Walmart. So whenever we're installing good quality gear, we want to make sure it's secured properly. And this is the great, a great way to do it. I would say it's the way to do it. So if you have any questions or comments, or you secure your cables a different way, let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call on the tech line. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.